Compact, capable and comfortable. These were the three boxes we needed ticked when we were designing this model. G'day, I'm Lane from Trackabout Campers and today we're going to be looking through our Trackabout Explorer. The first thing you'll notice about this trailer is its compact size and low centre of gravity. Measuring at 4.6 metres long, it's the shortest walk-up camper on the market. With more than enough room to take the bikes, boat and outboard and short enough to follow you up any track. As with all our range, the whole unit is based on a ladder frame hot dip galvanised chassis where the drawbar is one piece all the way through to the suspension cross member. The rear also features engineered recovery points for rear recoveries and towing. This is a design we've perfected and engineered over two decades. All vital components underneath the trailer are protected with stone deflection plates. This includes any electrical and water lines. The water tanks themselves are 85 litre, 8 mil thick poly construction. They're set into the chassis for increased ground clearance and lower centre of gravity. The trailer behind me has been fitted with Cruisemaster XT independent suspension. We've dialed it in perfectly to match the towing characteristics of the Explorer. It features a twin shock design which helps eliminate shock fade over high speed corrugations and the 12 inch electric brakes supply plenty of stopping power. The body itself is a fully seam sealed monocoque design. It's strong enough to support added features like the boat rack, but lightweight in construction and design. All forward facing panels feature stone deflection plates to protect the powder coat underneath. For the exterior of the trailer, we've made the most of the available space. It features two 4.5 kilo gas bottle holders, two 20 litre jerry can holders, an external tap for washing your hands on the go, and two mud guard boxes, which are great for storing dirty items like recovery gear, or can be used as a lock up safe when you leave camp. Up the front of the trailer, we've fitted a Cruisemaster DO35 hitch. Now this allows for full articulation off-road, placing less stress on the vehicle and the trailer, and has an easy push button hitching process. The stone guard with large mud flaps up front protect both the vehicle and the trailer from flying rocks. It's angled forward to throw the stones back into the ground away from the tow vehicle, while the large mud flaps protect the underbody of the trailer. The stone guard's fully adjustable to allow the use of bike racks and outboard loaders, but can also be moved completely back to suit vehicles like Prados with large swinging rear doors. Behind the stone guard, we've got a large aluminium toolbox. This is lightweight, but also big enough to house the command center for the trailer. This one here has the Red Arc Manager 30, which is a DC-DC charger, a mains charger, and a solar regulator all in one. Above the Webasto, we also have an aluminium drop-in tray. Now this is great for storing a shower hose, and that easily clips into the mixer tap on the side of the toolbox. The Explorer is also completely compatible with all our toy storage options. Up front, we can fit the two or four bike rack, an outboard loader, and on top, there's definitely enough room for a tinny. Just because the trailer's compact doesn't mean it has small storage. With a few engineering tweaks, we've managed to fit the kitchen that we use in the extender into a smaller trailer while keeping the all important walk-up drawers up the front. We've designed the kitchen to pull out from the back of the trailer. This increases any possible bench space we can have and keeps everything in one usable spot. As you can see, the kitchen can be used without having to set the camper trailer up. That's perfect for roadside stops and lunch on the go or pulling up for a beautiful cooked breakfast on the beach. The kitchen features an Evercool fridge freezer with Danfoss compressor, Dometic appliances and quick connect gas fittings that run direct to the regulator. That means you don't have to get gas bottles out every time you want to set up. Since we've fitted this trailer with the Webasto hot water inducted heating system, it also means we've got running hot water to the kitchen sink. I think this is one of the greatest conveniences whilst camping. We've designed this kitchen with convenience in mind. Everything is exactly where you need it and you're surrounded by an abundance of bench space. Simple tech options like the Red Arc user interface and Fusion Stereo are all at your fingertips, which makes camping a breeze. We have several large drawers, a full-size cutlery drawer and the option to fit an integrated plate insert. The pantry itself slides out alongside the kitchen. It's got two drawers in the front, the lower one being deep enough to fit things like camp ovens and cooking equipment. In behind that, there's a large pantry with more than enough room for all your food tubs. The tent setup could not be any more simple on the touring range. Simply lift the boat rack up if you've got one fitted. The boat or any firewood storage containers, anything up on top can be left up there for the setup and lifting's made easy with the aid of the large gas strut up the front. The travel cover attaches with a specially sourced water resistant zipping system and eight adjustable tie down straps. This allows for plenty of storage up underneath the travel cover for stuff like tables, chairs and solar panels and you can also pull it down tightly to secure it while you're traveling. There's two zippers on these trailers and they start both sides of the walk-up door. This allows you to easily access the walk-up drawers without having to set up the trailer. Once you've removed the travel cover, simply pull the awning off the back of the trailer, jump inside the walk-up area, grab the tent bow and walk backwards. The gas strut will do all the work for you as the tent sets up. 
Next up is the awning. Now, when a lot of people see peaked awnings, they run the other way. Ours is truly a one-person setup. All the poles and the awning stay permanently attached to the tent. It's a peak design, which means water runs off in every direction because we cut full into the awning. This allows water to run off either side without having to adjust poles in heavy rain. Because the poles stay permanently attached to the camper, that means no diagrams, no labelling poles, no fights trying to work out what goes where. Simply pull the three supplied poles out from the camper, lock them into place, and you're ready to go. The Explorer also features one of the most comfortable mattresses I've ever slept on. It's a custom made bamboo top pocket sprung queen size mattress and it's surrounded by level windows with a bed so there's plenty of airflow in the warmer months. The four built in drawers inside the walk up area are great for clothes storage. If you don't have the modular kids room attached you can just drop the door down and there's more than enough room to get changed in there in private. Part of the Wabasto package we fitted to this trailer is the ducted heating outlet. Now this recirculates hot air from inside the tent and keeps camping all year round really comfortable. We've also fitted the optional bedside power, Sirocco fans and reading lights. And these just really add to the creature comforts of this camper. Above the main part of the camper, we've got a canvas tropical roof. Now this is suspended above the camper trailer to create a cushion of air in between the two surfaces. In the warmer months, it keeps the tent nice and cool and in the cooler months, cuts out condensation inside the main tent area. The great thing about the touring tent is the modular wall setup. Now this can be fully enclosed to form a kids room or you can set up separate walls to deflect weather and wind away from your camping area. The kids room that comes with the Explorer is a modular setup. This means you can set up as much or as little as you want. If you want to just have one or two walls on as a windbreak or privacy or fully enclose it, there's more than enough room for two kids inside with the disco bunk set up next to the bed. The great thing about how we've designed this kids room is it can be left on for setup and pack up. So this does not affect the three minute full setup time. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed walking through the track about Explorer with us. Hit the subscribe button. And if you're after any more information, jump on our website, www.trackabout.com.au.